making progress, are we? And in such a hurry to find us, to find me. There's no need to rush. I am everywhere, and everything here is mine. It's a pity you did not alert the fleet, but it is of no consequence. I'll alert them myself. They will come to the rescue and be consumed by my legion. We will use their ships to bring this hell to Earth. You won't live to see it. And you will die long before you have a chance to warn them. Attention.
safe toxicity level detected. Warning. Danger level orange. Unsafe toxicity level detected. will not be your end. Your soul will burn in hell forever. Warning. Danger level red. Lethal toxicity level detected. Air scrubber one of three activated. Air scrubber two of three attached. Air filtration system online. Toxicity level decreasing. Torzu, Amiran, Inokas. Rise, rise, Quas Mir Yalopan. There is no death for you. This is the audio log of engineer Sam Harding, dated April 5th, 2145. I have just completed repairs on the magnetic locks and have significantly reprogrammed the pressure sensors on the monorail systems. My fellow engineers and I are confident that the accident of last week will never happen.
The accident should never have happened in the first place. Now leaving Internal sensors led the computer to believe center. that there was a vacuum stop, inside the vehicle. Two. Unfortunately, the Who computer decided that Who the only way to fix this pressure discrepancy was to I was open waiting all here on the train for my partner. He went to outside. investigate what was going on. Going over 15,000 lines of code today. Now, I don't, I don't no know where he is. For this tragic event I don't know occurred. what the hell's going on. Somehow. But I bet it has to do with those artifacts we were digging up at site Honestly, two. Honestly, this looks to me like I another case of a solid system with those going to hell in a handbasket. In the Delta Confident complex. that the layers of protection I added to the code today will prevent any such occurrences from happening again. I'm off to meet Engineer Jim Torben at the access doors to the Delta Remember, Complex platform to try and troubleshoot a faulty track sensor that's been causing the door to stick. In the event of an emergency stop, Marsec will be dispatched immediately for your safety. Have a nice day. The Delta Complex isn't safe. Now you're entering crazy site if you're going two. there. Warning, airlock malfunction. Please contact engineering to facilitate repairs. Thank Look, you. I don't and think have this nice train day. is safe either. We don't know what's ahead. to Site 2 access point. Airlock malfunction detected. This is the audio log of Charles Hollis, EAP Director, dated September 5th, 2145. In order to conserve current life support resources, effective October 1st, 2145, the Council has made a decision that all environment processes be brought offline in the general area of Site 2. Tomorrow, I will be sending out emails to all team leaders asking for an update on their asset relocation program at Site 3. We feel that we have unearthed enough useful material as it pertains to the project from Site 2 and choose to now devote resources in the exploration of Site 3. And log recording. Site 2 access ramp. Airlock malfunction detected.
Airlock security override enabled. Leaving site two. Next stop, Delta Complex. Engineering, please report to Delta Complex Access Ramp. Track sensor failure detected. Destroy him! <laughs> Warning, automated turret guns online. <laughs> Attention, automated turret guns offline.
emergency power on her. All Delta operations suspended. This is the audio log of Robin Price, Delta Operational Director in charge of personnel, recruitment, evaluation, and placement. Disciplinary Action Report 40C-8, responding to Mars City Administration request. Delta Labs 1 is currently addressing a problem concerning theft of security equipment. Four members of the security detail assigned to the Delta Labs have been reprimanded with three others under investigation. It seems caches of weapons, armor, and ammo have been discovered in various places throughout the Delta Labs. We've located some of the missing equipment and have information that we hope will lead us to more. I have a team investigating Systems storage down. room 21D with security code 298, where I've learned stolen items may be located. I hope to recover all items and find all personnel responsible. End of log. This is the audio log of Robert Price, Delta Operational Director in charge of personnel, recruitment, evaluation, and placement. Assignment of engineers to the lower Delta labs has become almost impossible. In six months, we've gone from a volunteer surplus to a critical deficiency of qualified personnel willing to accept assignment. Increases in both pay and benefits have done little to help this situation. Through exit interviews as well as the weekly Delta medical brief, it's become apparent to everyone that the rate of sudden and unexplained mental illness is way beyond acceptable levels, even for Mars. They're derogatorily being called sub delts up here, and I have a feeling this attitude will spread to other parts of the UAC. End of blog.
core offline. Please follow safety procedure, Orange. Your friends are with me now. Soon. Attention, reactor core online. <laughs>
This is the audio log of medical supervisor Peter Raleigh, dated October 29th, 2145. We have exhausted all known forms of drug treatment in hopes of finding a way to abate this strange outbreak of dementia, and I have yet to receive any additional data from the psychiatrists back on Earth. Options are quickly dwindling. Approximately 80% of all extraplanar participants exhibit signs of mild neuroses within the first 48 hours after returning from their expeditions. Within 72 hours, 75% of patients exhibit extreme signs of paranoid delusion and violence. We have isolated these cases in hopes of finding the pathogen. As yet, we can find no biological contaminants that would lead to such drastic changes in cognitive processing. It seems that whatever this pathogen is, it attacks higher brain functions and only leaves more basal functions in the lower brainstem. We have witnessed that a high percentage of subjects who lose ability to rational thought and communication skills, and then the physical changes become known. Subjects in this group appear to atrophy. Skin pales, muscles become slack, bone, teeth, and fingernails become almost translucent, veiny sinews of their former selves. I have never seen anything like this in my career. Our observations continue. What? Who's there? Oh, thank God. You're not one of them. I thought everyone else was gone. I... I was part of this. I helped them. The madness of opening to another dimension. Look, I, I don't... We don't have much time. We let it through. The evil. The protective stabilizer on the portal just failed after Petruger took the device. It, it was an artifact we had found in the ruins. He took it into the portal, and Hell followed him out. You have to help me first. I'm going to try to get the teleporter systems running again. The areas are destroyed around us, so it's the only way through this part of the complex. You need to find me a working plasma inducer. It's all I need to get the teleporter working. Decontamination process started. Decontamination complete. Have a nice day. Decontamination process started. Decontamination complete.
Xenon systems deactivated. Medical Report 16-8. This is the audio log of medical supervisor Peter Raleigh, dated November 1st, 2145. Patient 0432, a private Steve Jensen of the UAC Dark Light Armor Corps Division, expired today, 1543, of a self-inflicted gunshot wound. This is approximately 110 hours after his return from expeditionary missions. Private Jensen was suffering from paranoid delusions and full-blown dementia treatment was unsuccessful. He was the last surviving member of his outfit. Four other squad mates, who also came back with Private Jensen, expired from injuries suffered on that last mission shortly after their return. Before his death, Private Jensen was heard screaming in both English and other languages. Something about demon hordes feasting on our souls. The other language was later discovered to be Aramaic. Due to security concerns in the area, I've secured some armaments within my office. Audio log for Phil Wilson, medical technician, the Delta Labs, October 20th, 2145. Today, I witnessed the third test of the teleporter in the three weeks that I've been here. Volunteers are becoming harder and harder to come by, and it isn't difficult to see why. They all come back screaming like loons about demons, pools of blood, real fire and brimstone stuff. At first, I wasn't paying much attention, just doing my job, but the last was Robert Clayton. Now, I met him my first day here. This guy chews up rocks and spits out crap as tough as they come. Having to sedate him and drag his drooling body to the isolation, it's really freaked me out. I'm gonna put in for a transfer as soon as I'm able.
I'll get the teleporter working again. If you don't have much time, you're going to need to teleport across the containment chamber. It's the only way through this part of the complex. Head into the chamber and initiate the sequence on the machine. I'll take care of the rest. I'm not going with you. Good luck. But before you go, I want you to take something. It's a journal I made about the experiments. Uh, those things. It's all there. It'll explain everything. Get it to someone so this never happens again. My name is Ian McCormick. I'm a research specialist stationed on Mars, working for the UAC. Get out to my the primary man. job is, I'm or rather, ready. was, to assist Dr. Malcolm the Trooper in Decontamination the variety of Decontamination process started. And for the past year, we've been focusing almost exclusively on teleportation. Decontamination complete. I don't know if I'll make it Have a nice block, day. So I'm recording this video log to let someone know what happened. And with that knowledge, prevent it from happening again. Systems activated. Teleportation will commence in T-minus three, two, one.